Low Glycemic Index Foods Glycemic Index Diet The glycemic index is a useful tool, which is used to classify foods that contain carbohydrates, their potential for raising blood sugar, and how quickly they raise your blood sugar. Foods are classified as low, 55 or fewer, medium, 56 to 69, or high, 70 or more on the glycemic index based on how rapidly they elevate blood sugar levels when compared to glucose or white bread, these foods have a glycemic index rating of 100. Low glycemic foods increase blood sugar levels more slowly than those with moderate or high glycemic index scores. The low glycemic index, low GI, diet is based on the glycemic index idea. According to research, the low GI diet can help you lose weight, lower your blood sugar levels, and minimize your risk of heart disease, decrease the risk of cancer, improve pregnancy outcomes in women with gestational diabetes, and type 2 diabetes. A food's glycemic index can be affected by a variety of things. Factors that affect the glycemic index of foods include the food's composition, the type of sugar it contains, the structure of the starch, how refined the carb is, ripeness, and cooking method. When foods are combined together, their glycemic index changes. The glycemic index of a food is not based on a typical portion of that food. For example, watermelon has a high GI value of 80, but a serving of watermelon has very low carbs, that its glycemic load is only 5. An alternative metric, known as glycemic load, is also available. This metric considers both the rate of digestion and the amount contained in a typical portion of a meal. This may be a more accurate technique for determining the effect of carbohydrate intake on blood sugar levels. The Glycemic Index Foundation, on the other hand, suggests that people monitor their glycemic load GL, and try to keep their total daily GL under 100. Otherwise, the simplest strategy to get a glycemic load of less than 100 is to eat low GI foods in moderation. It should be noted that items are only granted a glycemic index value if they contain carbohydrates. As a result, meals lacking in carbohydrates will not be found on GI lists. Beef, chicken, fish, eggs, herbs, and spices are examples of these foods. After a brief introduction, let me share with you the 8 best low glycemic index foods along with their glycemic load. Broccoli Broccoli has a very low glycemic index of 15. Broccoli also has a very low glycemic load which is around 1 for 1 cup serving which makes broccoli an ideal fit for diabetics. Broccoli is not only good for diabetics but it may also help to lower triglycerides and bad LDL cholesterol, prevents certain cancers, and much more. Oat According to Harvard Health, rolled oat oatmeal has a GI score of 55 and a glycemic load of 9, low. Oats are a gluten-free whole grain that is high in vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants. According to research, oats and oatmeal provide several health benefits. Weight loss, decreased blood sugar levels, and a lower risk of heart disease are some of the benefits. Point to consider that quick and instant oats have a higher GI score than steel cut or rolled oats because they are more processed. Milk Milk is low in carbohydrates and has a glycemic index of 32 to 41 and a glycemic load of 4 to 5 depending on the fat content. Milk is high in calcium, which is beneficial to bone health. According to research, drinking milk on a regular basis may slow the progression of osteoarthritis in women. Chickpeas Chickpeas are also classified under the low glycemic food category because of their low glycemic index value which is approximately 33 and chickpeas also have a low glycemic load which is approximately 7. Chickpeas are high in nutrients and provide numerous health benefits, including preventing constipation, promoting cardiovascular health, assisting in blood sugar control, and serving as a great gluten-free substitute. Carrot Carrots are high in beta-carotene, which is beneficial to eye health. They are also high in antioxidants, which help protect the cells of the body from harm. If you have diabetes and are watching your blood sugar levels, carrots are a good choice. They are non-starchy. Carrots have a GI of 16 when raw. Boiled carrots have a GI of 32 to 49. The glycemic load of two small raw carrots is around 8. Beans Although beans include carbs, they have a low glycemic index GI, 
and do not produce large jumps in blood sugar levels. Beans are a complex carbohydrate. This type is digested more slowly by the body than other carbs, which helps to maintain blood sugar levels constant for a longer period of time. Kidney beans, pinto beans, black beans, and garbanzo beans are all excellent sources of fiber. The majority of beans, kidney, black, and pinto, have a glycemic index of 20 to 32 and a glycemic load of less than 10. Lentils Lentils' low GI scores make them an ideal diabetic kitchen staple. Lentils dried and boiled have a GI value of 30 and a glycemic load of approximately 7 depending on the cooking and processing methods. Lentils are high in fiber, folate, and potassium, making them an excellent choice for the heart, as well as for controlling blood pressure and cholesterol. They also have iron and vitamin B1, which aid in the maintenance of a steady heartbeat. Cashew Nuts Cashews have a low sugar content and are high in fiber, heart-healthy lipids, and plant protein. They're also high in copper, magnesium, and manganese, which are essential minerals for energy generation, brain function, immunity, and bone health. Cashews have been linked to a variety of health advantages, including weight loss, better blood sugar management, and a healthier heart. Cashews have a glycemic index of 21 to 27 and a glycemic load of 6 to 8 for 100 grams serving. That's all for today's video about low glycemic foods, hope so you all will like this low glycemic diet video. Thanks for watching, if you have any queries, comment your queries and suggestions in comment box. Do not forget to like, comment and share. Watch my suggested videos. Be healthy, be nutritive.